great insight that I actually got from Professor Cass Sunstein over at Harvard, who I've never met. But in the 80s, I read a piece by him. And the conclusion of the piece uh, electrified me because he said, and it seems like a simple idea, but it wasn't at the time, is that people can agree to do the same thing for different reasons. People can have different interests, but still want the same outcome. Now, somebody who's trained in theology and moral philosophy, where you're usually taught, let's get everybody to agree on the same values, and then all the actions will flow from that. The idea that people could have very different values or goals or interests and still agree on the same outcome was a revelation. And so what I realized in the particular case of the Global Reporting Initiative was that there were a lot of people who wanted to see this particular mechanism come into being for different reasons. So I didn't have to waste time saying, you, ma Madam Corporate Executive, you need to agree with the reasons that are motivating the activist or the investor. Your reasons are good enough, and we need to work on this together. Um, that's, that's one thing. The second thing is uh, the way we dealt with um, uh, criticism. So uh, in the early days of this, and I actually write about this briefly in, in the uh, Song in the Night book, um, people would come to me and say, this is going to fail. You know this is going to fail, and it's going to be a mess. I don't even know why you tried it, because the whole thing was stupid. And I would say, you know, um, you're right. It's probably going to fail. But you know, with the expertise that you have, it would be so much less likely to fail if you were involved. And they said, oh, I said, oh, that's OK. That's all right. Look, what I'd like to ask you to do is we're down on the field trying to sort this out. And what I'd like you to do is stay in the bleachers, keep a close eye on us, keep a close eye on me. Here's my email. If you see anything I'm doing wrong, I want you to tell me. And if you ever feel like coming down on the field, working group or something like that, we'll find a place for you because I need your advice. And so people would go away grumbling. You know, but three months later, six months later, I get a call saying, you know, I, I've been thinking about this. And it seems to be going a little better than I thought. And I'd really like to be involved in the question of assurance kind of a technical question. I said, well, my gosh, I, just, I, I got 15 people on the insurance. I'm looking for four more. Would you like to join? And I saw dramatic transformation. Because the key was once people moved off, cynicism is such a terrible loss of energy and talent. But once they began to move away from that and they became engaged with it, then very often, it became the most interesting thing going on in their lives. And so they were sacrificing time, energy. Uh, it was actually amusing. It got to the point where people were competing to host us. You know, like, I want you, you know, like, and come to my building, because I want my boss and my, to, you know, you got to come here. So we were invited all over the world. We never had to pay a dime to meet anywhere. Um, but it was a process of, you know, meeting people where they are. I didn't say you're wrong. I said you're right. But here's what would really help. Now, a couple of people, you know, still think I was an idiot. Um, but that's a way of 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 changing the dynamic.